Hello and welcome to the Rollbar SDK Solutions video series. In this video we're going to look at configuring Rollbar for a sample Django application. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started then. So I'll be using IntelliJ as an IDE today. Um, I think it helps with visual representation of some of this stuff. Um, but all of this is generally applicable through the command line. I'll be running commands through the terminal. Uh, so just a quick introduction to the application that we're looking at. Uh, it's, it's not very complex. It's just a, uh, an age verification Django app that you can do. And so uh, what we'll supply here is a sample birth date value. And it's going to verify if it looks right. And if for some reason we have a bad format, if I add an additional character, then we're going to start to see these value errors. So uh, this error, uh, the objective here is to be able to report these types of events to our Rollbar platform. All right, so let's see if we can get started with that. Uh, first of all, I do need to create a new Rollbar project. So um, this is the first video I've recorded where we have our new projects menu available. So um, this is a, a nicer way to see your project settings. What I'll do is just create a new one. We'll call it Django Video. Uh, if you've ever set up a Rollbar project before, you're probably familiar with this workflow. If this is new to you, then um, from here, after we've created a project, this is where we designate the language that we're going to use. So uh, Django is a Python server library, so we'll take advantage of that from the backend selection here. And then it is going to present me with some setup instructions. So uh, just making sure that uh, we follow all of these. Uh, jumping back over to my IntelliJ. So um, the first command is actually something that's uh, already been run here. But uh, just as a, a show of good faith, we can still execute that. I believe uh, pip install rollbar should work just fine. Verifying uh, that we do have that here. So uh, next, we are going to make some code changes. I'll enlarge this a bit so we can see that text. Um, we're, we're adding a new entry to the middleware area of the configuration for that in, in our settings.py file. And then it looks like there's a little more that we'll add in the next step. So first, what I'll do, um, I'm going to copy this entry. Looks like that's our rollbar notifier middleware. So uh, copying that, taking this over to my SDK here, or to my IDE, excuse me. Let's see, uh, right here in demo. So settings.py. We do have some entries, some of the things that are already a part of this. So here is that rollbar notifier middleware, just pasting over that to show this value is correct here. Oops, put it back. And then uh, for the configuration here, so this is where the instructions are going to inject our source, uh, excuse me, our access token value there. So uh, this token was uniquely generated for this project. And it's even going to give us uh, some helpful commands here for setting our environment tag as well as the root. So um, I think in this case, I'll probably copy these three lines and move those over. Uh, this repo that I'm using, uh, this is a, a demo application that we use here at Rollbar, so um, some of these fields have already been filled out as a part of that. So here what I'm going to do is I will paste this in here. And it looks like there's two root values. I'll just go ahead and remove that one for now. And uh, for this one, I'm actually just going to uh, hard code that value to make it easier. All right, so now that we've added the new configs to the rollbar section of settings.py, let's also check out what we have left to do. So it looks like uh, there's a test message that we can send across there uh, by opening up that shell, uh, but I'm going to deviate from that just to go back to um, my uh, known commands that I have to get that, that Python application up and running. So um, by adding in this access token in the configs, we should have enabled Rollbar to begin reporting from this application. Um, and I'm actually just going to comment out this line for now just so 
doesn't get in the way, I think I would need to assign some sort of variable there, and I have not done that yet. All right, so now to test this, what I can do, I can run the server again, and I can try to kick off another one of these bad events and see if that is then going to be processed over here. All right, so uh, sometimes it will auto refresh. It looks like in this case, I was a little too impatient, um, but selecting into the Django video project, we can see here that within the last 30 seconds, we have sent across a value. So unconverted data remains and it's a one. So uh, if we follow this stack trace true, it looks like after it has broken down the tuple, it found that that one that was left over on the end of that. So just one extra digit too many, but that has now been reported to the Rollbar web app. So uh, that, that covers the initial configuration of, of Rollbar into your Django application. Uh, the main things that you need are the addition of the Rollbar notifier middleware and your Rollbar configurations. Um, for a correct root value, uh, what I'm probably going to supply here is uh, some dynamic value injected in there or I could in some cases just take this string and build that in so my root value in that case might be this string here the local host with the age verification so um, building that into my application that could be some configs and then as you begin to add in your own custom data that's uh, another place you can do that here would be to say something like key one is equal to value one, supplemental data being allowed there. All right, so uh, thanks for checking out this brief introduction to the Rollbar Django SDK setup.